And the wizard just killed the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> the wizard has gone astray. Yeah. So you said you got other questions for him. Yeah, so what did this what is this guy charged with? Like, what did he do to uh He's a murderer. Hmm. He murders folk. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, what else though? I mean like murder's a pretty common thing, but this guy has escaped twice. Yeah, he's about been... twice. No, it's not escaped. Oh. So he's never escaped. Up. He's never escaped. Okay. No. The execution messes up. Yeah. The execution. There were signs during or on the way to the execution that said, you know, there was a sign. So you reschedule. Okay. Lightning, like you said, lightning hits something, mm-hmm. a dead bird falls from the sky and lands nearby. However, if it happens three times, the person is fully pardoned. Oh. Is there any chance he's been using magic? As she said, she thinks the dark gods are watching. Mm. Oh, he keeps taking corruption and rolling again. That's supposed to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, all right. Uh, what other questions should we ask her before we have time? Is there anything in the way of... Uh, I, I don't want to ask for payment, but out of character... So you're asking why she needs your help? Pardon? You're asking why she wants you to help as opposed to no else? Yeah. Um, like or your help, specifically. Uh, she expects trouble. Uh, the man is evil. Another thing, and this is by far the lowest uh, question, but is there a compensation in addition to our <laughs> No, you get free. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because I know that Kristoff is my humblest of companions and uh, yeah, the I wizard. Mean, I wouldn't is ask about <laughs> yes. The wizard, he also is rather humble. <laughs> I am more of a talker and negotiator, etc. for our sure. our group. Um just yeah, sure that would be all <laughs> I I shall bid you good evening. Good evening. And when should we expect to hear from you again? Is there somewhere you'd like us to wait? Uh, I shall collect you from the watchtowers. Sounds good. Okay. It'll be early morning. Well, by that, well, it's still dark. Will we be on shift that day for the evening or the daytime? Let me just check my schedule. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what shift are we on? We're obviously on during the daytime right Mm -hmm. now, so four days time we'll have a night shift. So which means that we can, at the end of our night shift, we will be... Well, uh, your night shift ends when the sun comes up. Yes. So So the execution happens when the sun comes up. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So we'll we'll be on on shift at that time. Yeah, in four days' time, you'll be on day shift again. Because it's three day, three night, three day, three night. Okay. You don't get a nail. So, are you doing anything over the uh, four days? 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go see the lawyer again. Okay. Sure. Uh, and collect the next morning. Yes. The next day. Yeah, I'm gonna collect. Um, let's see, I left twenty-five gold for that. Twenty-five gold. So I'm going to collect uh, twenty of. No, I'm gonna collect five gold from her and leave the other twenty for care. Okay, you're not asking the lawyer. Well, anything? Yeah, the lawyer. I'll be uh, lawyer. Yeah, let's talk to the lawyer. <laughs> about, uh, <laughs> not really <laughs> bothered about your. Thank you for your help. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk about. Uh, I can't even read my own writing, Jesus. You'll <laughs> uh, see. The, fast the, the, yeah, fast yeah, I know her name. Uh, she's as uh, hard as iron, as I hear. Mm-hmm. She's uh, she says she's got a way for us to work out this whole indentured servitude thing. No. Oh. Yeah, we what? uh, well, we we helped her get some poor poor murderer executed, and says she can work out a deal. Yeah. So uh, who? What you doing? Oh, some stonemason who's, uh, who's held up in the, the oh, thing. Okay. Bower, I think. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he's apparently have tried to execute him, like, more than once. Yeah. It hasn't worked, so they're, uh, they're trying a third time. He wants us to do it right. Yeah, that's the thing, you know. Yeah. Third attempt. If, if you yeah, don't die, like, don't have the good graces to die at that point, then, you know... Your, your execution is stayed in your pardon. That seems like a rather interesting system. Well, it's the gods. It's hard to game, also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is actually true. Um, however, you know... Sure, she has enough pull to have your sentences commuted, but... Uh, Probably not for mere escort duty. Um, she's probably expecting violence of some kind. Court would never hear a petition otherwise. Uh, my advice? Get in writing. Sign. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we I mean, we don't work houses, right? Theoretically, yes. Yeah, theoretically. Yes. Um, alright. Thank you for the advice, and we will... Well, I would like to collect some of uh, uh, my coin that yeah, I have yeah, here. That, that, yeah. You know, that's uh, yeah, let's go to the house and ask to please have it in writing so that everything is legit. Okay, you go to the house. You knock on the door. Hello. An old lady. Yes, dear? How can I help you? Yes, we are looking for Ilsa. Uh, Ilsa. No one here by that name. Hmm. Uh, describe, I described Ilsa to her. No, nope. never heard of anyone like that. That is quite funny. Is this woman lying? Is there any way for me to do such a thing as an insight check here? There is. Intuition. Yeah. Yes, intuition. Cool. Yeah, we are not making intuition as well. Succeeded by three degrees. Fail. Succeeded by two degrees. Uh, this person is not lying. Interesting. Mm, that means someone lied to us. Yeah, <laughs> you dog fucked up. <laughs> you don't even know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that was that was a very astute observation, yes. <laughs> they followed, they went to the house where the road warden went, mm-hmm. and the person who answered the door has never heard of her and doesn't recognize her. Is there anybody else that she's on this phone? No, just me. Not, si- not since my uh, my husband died. And who was your husband? Uh, me and uh, Robert. He died uh, several years ago. It wasn't happened to be a stonemason, was it? No. Oh, okay. Just 
curious. Why? You have a very nicely built yeah, house. Yeah, a Very nicely built house. Alright, so I think we should go back to the lawyer and ask her to draw up the document, and that way we can carry it with us, and when we see them, have her sign it. Okay. Uh, yeah, she does that. You get the document. Yeah. Uh, how much does the document cost? Um. Legal documents. Uh. Call it ten shillings. Ten shillings. Yeah. Uh. I'll take it out of what I have with her, and then just take the change. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I get ten shillings back every week. Yeah. Yep. I just I I feel like this is. Unnecessary. She's given us her word. And you know what to do in the... Uh, I don't believe... Three and a half days? Uh, 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 I... Okay, so if nobody else is going to, I'm going to make an effort to try and find uh, the merchant that we... The mine got. got. Mine got, yeah. I'm going to make a, a, an effort to put a, put a word out, you know, that I that we had, we would like to have some some tough words with Mr. Mine got. Not tough words, but what happened? Peaceable exchange with Mr. Mind God. He led us more into a trap. Exactly. He's gonna know we're coming for him if we say tough words. I mean, he did tell us it was gonna be a trap. Hmm. Mr. Mind God. Hmm. <laughs> mind God, you say, yeah? Mind God, yeah. There's a lot of Mind Gods in town. Is there? Yeah. Is there? Is there a coolest Mind God? Uh, lots of them. Uh, and they're all swindlers. You, yeah, uh, it's a name. You, you know a British sparrow. Well, it's like an Alan Smithy of swindling. Yeah, it, it, it's a uh, the <laughs> Alan Smithy. moniker used by swindlers of common to. Uh, this uh, might be the most common name in the empire. Can I can I look for a word or sparrow in them? Uh, who would that be? That's Curtis Weingott's real name. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I, for one, am shocked at this turn of events. <laughs> well, it turns out he left town shortly after talking to you. Oh. So he hired us? That whole thing's weird, is now weird to me, because he hired us to go oversee it. He had to put us some, some money into that, but he's fled the town. It's almost like there was an entire collusion thing going on there. I know, I think I know what happened. So, he hired us to go... Shocker, Richard figured out the backstabbing plot. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the sarcastic one. Okay? <laughs> me, me! Well, remember, so, uh, I heard investigating the house. Yeah. The house was pilfered. Yeah. The only person that knew that we were there, other than Silverbeard, was my god. And the merchants. And the and merchants. Everybody well, the merchants... Yeah. And the two guards. The two guards, yeah. The two guards? The ones who got the away. The two guards that got away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So either the two guards looted the place, or my god came in after us and looted the place. And by the way, someone looted the place. Yeah. yeah. And we're never going to get that stuff back. We got a hundred gold crowns out of it. I'm not unhappy about that exchange. I mean, there could have been. Thousands of gold line and pouches all over the place. But on your current issue, anything else to do? Or do I just get to. <laughs> we didn't do enough back background checking last time and it bit us in the butt hard. Yeah, let's really investigate this. Yeah, uh, let's look into this Mauer. Mauer, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I want to look up Mr. Mauer. So, Maybe see if we can visit Mr. Mauer. Give me uh, gospel tests. Built by two degrees. I assume you're asking around. Yeah, excuse yeah. me. Uh, I, I have succeeded by one. And you're a plus 20. I succeeded you're all a plus 20. by. I failed by one. <laughs> I succeeded by three. We are all really I'm bad. I rolled like 59 on a 38. Man. Yeah, so. um... 56 on a 30. A lot of people are saying that, uh, you know. Um, some swear he's innocent, some swear he's a demon in human form. Uh, all, however, agree he is a gifted stonemason. 
who could cut even the most difficult stone with precision. No one um, seems does to anybody be... know where there's examples of his work? You, however, like all of the place. Okay. Uh, you, however, learn or get told that you should talk to his fiance, Christian Gebauer, and you're directed to her stall in Marketplace. I feel bad for him. We're such bad role. <laughs> right. He's got to lead us. Like, are you sure there's nothing you want to ask about? Is there? Do I just jump right to the hey, point? Don't where worry. Screw Once me. the starter adventure's done, <laughs> I ain't gonna help you anymore. I mean, and if you all die off, eh, you go yeah, fade. You've got. You've got. Yeah. All I right, just. So yeah, let's go. Good. Let's go. <laughs> I, I expect at least one of you to be losing a fate per session after the starters. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we're not exactly being careful now, are we? We just look at this person and go, Yeah, that sounds good! Do you want to That's, do anything with your four days? Nope! <laughs> We've not been careful yeah, this time. Yeah. Yeah. Just move right to the we're point where someone backstabs us. Learning, we're learning the ins and outs of this city. Yeah. This is infinity. Yeah. So, yeah, Kristen, just... <laughs> uh, Kristen Gebauer is a uh, kind young woman. Uh, she sells various tools for merchant. Really? What kind of tools does she sell? Farming tools. Farming tools, okay. Yeah. Um, farming tools. Farming tools, okay. Uh, so we uh, <laughs> you buy farming tools from her. <laughs> um, no, I shall happily talk to the watch. Yeah, we were here to ask about your uh, your fiance. He's been in prison for a while. Uh, he's 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 done nothing wrong. Nothing uh, wrong. Like, sure, he he killed that man. But it was in self-defense. Well, how many men did he kill in self-defense? Five. Five? Um, That's impressive. They told him terrible things. Uh, they said he was one of them now. Though he knew none of them. One of who? I don't know. Were you there? Rennie uh, refused them. They tried to take him by force. Wait. How would you not know who they were if... He didn't know who they were. He didn't know who they were. And you don't know who they were. No. That tracks. Yeah. They tried to abduct him or something. Hmm. Another abduction. <laughs> Holger is a good man. I've been praying to Verena that someone help him before it's too late. <laughs> Is it true that your husband have any enemies? No, he was a good man. He had like everyone liked him. What about at work? Were there other masons that were jealous of him? Perhaps because you are so strikingly beautiful. Ho oh. ho! Oh. He he <laughs> was well liked. Uh, it's just about to be a widow. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, are you looking at it like you're going to be on the market soon? <laughs> Well, quite frankly, Kristen, I am not sure what to make of this situation. You say that your, your fiancé was a good man, but here he is charged with murder in the self-defense of five different men. Who was the judge at his trial? I must admit, that's quite a savage self-defense if he took five I don't know. by himself. Oh, I'm not sure who the judge is. Is this the only time he's been in trouble? Yes. But judges don't announce their name. Hmm. Judges are anonymous. Hmm. Is, is this the only time he's been in trouble? Yes. Do so you happen to know who the their lawyer was? Their barrister. Who's barrister? His. And they've already tried executing him. You couldn't afford one. Hmm. one. We can't afford no barrister. They're expensive. <laughs> this this a little this conflicts a little bit with what she said. Like it's like ten crowns for a barrister. You know anyone named Elsie? No. Does the name Fossenvolten mean anything to you? No. Who's she? Wait, we only used a surname. How would you know that? I said Elsie just now. I did, sorry. Oh, yes. 
So I started with, I, I, I used with the uh, first name. Ah. He used the familiar. I did. <laughs> I, I, I was hoping that she would say, yes, there's a candlestick maker down the street, I know. <laughs> <sighs> but go on. That was it. Okay. That was it. I was just hoping that, that Dilsey was a more common name than I thought. Alright. Well, uh, looks like, uh, yeah, it is a bad to get executed. What? A surprise. Another dead end in one of our investigations. <laughs> Well, you still have several places we can investigate. Mm. Good. So tell me. Let's ask about his work. Let's go to his workplace. Let's go. Okay. So, where? What places did he hang around often? Did you have a frequent bar or tavern in which he went to? Uh, Any brothels he visited? <laughs> <laughs> which was his favorite brothel? <laughs> Can you tell me about this hoe? <laughs> <laughs> she sells farming equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's exactly why. <sighs> By Sigmar's wrinkly balls. <laughs> oh, don't bad note Sigmar. Okay, fine. You already know a priest of Sigmar. Okay, sorry, by Sigmar's holy golden cast balls. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I, I... See, here's my question. He, he didn't drink none. He didn't drink none. He said it interfered with his, uh, cutting. A wise man. Made his hands shake. Here's my question. If we, like, like, I see what we're going here. We're just, like, we're finding out that he's not actually as bad as it seems. It looks like the gods are really, you know, going in his favor. But, but, but here's my question. If we find out he's a good guy, and that he, he, like, let's say, best case scenario, murdered people that deserved murdering, is that really going to change what we're going to do? Like, I, I'm, so here's, I, I'm non-golden boy enough to say, well, if he gets us off the watch, uh, sorry about it. Where not, I would normally agree in this situation, not to his, his fiance, but you know. the, no, I understand. Well, what I I do agree in this situation that we're hired for a job, we should just do the job. Yeah. However, uh, from a game perspective standpoint, every time we've made a blind decision, we've been <laughs> fucked. So, and I've been hurt a lot. You do keep getting injured, you know. So. Uh, I am more or less inclined to spend the extra few minutes to find out about this person. Fair. Because we are Is there a benefit to helping? Like, if this, let's assume the god, he's really innocent and the gods are intervening in, on his behalf. Would it benefit us to, like... Well, it could. Because if you think about it, if he's innocent and the execution is stayed and we get off... Right? Then his fiance will let him know that we've, you know, we wanted to know more about him. We wanted to make sure that we were doing the right thing. And in the yeah, city, what can she do? Well, nothing. She's influential. Uh, she's influential she's still to Mason's wife. Fiance. Fiance. Yes. If we do the good thing, then wife. But like, yeah. I don't, so know, I, I, don't, I don't see him being influential enough to get us off the, the hook. Well, you have to remember, stonemasons, it's, they don't make pennies. Yeah. They, they make do. coins. So... But not ten gold crowns worth to hire a lawyer. No. But no, exactly. <laughs> not ten gold crowns worth to hire a lawyer. Which, to be fair, in this game, is a lot. Yeah. But also not a lot at the same time. Um, so... I would, I would suggest that we go and continue our investigation someplace else. We've got all the information from her that we've needed. We should go to places he's hung around, find out more information, see if there's anybody else who knew who these people were. Because this, this, was, a, this was an attack during the day, I assume. 
if there were witnesses or if there were something. witnesses or anything like that. We could talk to him. Surely he's in prison somewhere. Yeah, we could just go straight talk to him, which might be probably time constraint wise, probably easier. Sure. Alright. I think we're done with this lady. Bye. He'd push her down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I leave her ten brass pennies mm -hmm. as a thank you. Buy yourself something nice. Uh, you will not get in to see him. Okay, prison. Um, Who's uh, are, are Altdorf soldiers the jailers? Yeah, it's in the prison. Hmm. I don't think they're too happy with us right now. We've done nothing to them. Well, we broke up a bar fight. Uh, we should go to the rest of the place, the bar that he was at the night of the attack, or the place the where... The day of the attack. The day of the attack. He was on the bridge. He was on the bridge. Yeah. So there's tons of witnesses. Yeah. Damn, okay. Let's just go to the bridge and ask around them. Let's... It was like, ages ago. Okay. It's not a recent thing. Uh, Considering they've already tried to execute him twice. Yeah. yeah. He, he sat That's another thing. thing. We probably should have asked the fiancé about that. What, about the executions? Yeah. I mean, we could ask, I mean, do, is the executioner's identity known in Warhammer? Is there like a profession? There is a, there is not a profession for it, is it? No, there's not a profession for it, really, and like, executioner's name is never known. Okay, well then we could... And their faces are never seen. No. Alright, well then we could ask around the, uh, the watch barracks. I swear they just don't them all guys. <laughs> See if anybody's uh, anybody happens to know anyone who uh, witnessed the previous executions. I failed my next gossip check by four degrees. I uh, but you're, you don't need to gossip if you're just asking around the watch yeah. marks. No, fair enough. Uh, you know I'm going to ask around in the street and get people in that. And I have. What are you asking around and about? <sighs> anybody see the time they tried to uh, execute that stonemason? Yeah. Hey guys, remember the stone they oh, was before the purges. Man, it wasn't that old there, is so. <laughs> Before the, uh, all well, the the how, about, how about some wax so, on? Not a lot, then. No. No. Trust me, right. something to lose your head over. Uh, uh, you may not gossip. Uh, uh, yes, it was, uh, two degrees of success. Um. So. Yeah, you don't really get a lot. Okay. Uh, you're asking around. I'm asking around the watch barracks. Watch. Yeah. Um, Does anybody remember? I'll ask. Darn, is Rudy around? Let me ask him. Yeah, he was around before the. Uh, he was around. Sergeant Rudy was around before. Elsa the, doesn't like Rudy at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. You want no part of that. Well, Mars is first. Oh. <laughs> Come again? Just don't get involved. Okay, but why? In fact, don't get involved. Uh, Consider right. that order. Yes, sir. Righto. War work. Righto. Moonwalking. I arrive back at the barracks. Yeah, I, I, I. Back away, Homer Simpson style, into the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> and come back with a Raptors t-shirt. Go Raptors! <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll Go Toronto Maple Raptors. Nope, they lost. <laughs> Leafs lost. Leafs lost. Did they actually? Raptors yeah. won. Ooh. Leafs lost 5-1, to one, according to... Yeah, uh, and the, the Raptors won. And Raptors crushed 115-96. to 96. Holy shit. Damn right. So... Yay. By Sigma slow and golden cast ball. Hey. Sport ball. Sport, Sport ball. ball. Woo. So, so when, we, when we get to hit that Jays game, are you asking around the um? <laughs> I'm, uh, the, uh, I'm gonna let Richard know that I, uh, I asked Rudy about uh, Mauer and he said. Oh, Rudy had some opinions. Yeah, he said not to get involved. That Mauer's cursed. And uh, and I believe his exact words were. Don't get involved. Don't get involved. Mauer's cursed. He's cursed. I tell you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, I think we should go to speak to Captain Pfeiffer and ask to see if there's any records that are... I know we can't read, but our lawyer can. 
maybe we maybe maybe, 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 maybe we, we should bring the lawyer. Maybe we should ask Trudy. Uh, I, I think I could, we could trust him. No, we cannot trust Trudy. Do not worry. But he was so nice and, 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 and incorruptible. Can I ask the Baron? Yes, we could talk to the Baron. I mean, our friend the elf is with them. I mean... Or we could talk to Flugstein. Or no. Topin. Feel much or better. Mean. Feel much better about Rudy. Trudy. I can't even remember his name now. <laughs> so, what are you asking? Where are you going? I don't know anything in character about that stuff. stuff. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to Tobin. I am actually going to go inquire with Trudy. Yeah, no, see? See? Because I won't botch it like he will. <laughs> so, <laughs> you both him. get roughly the same thing. Asking around, talking to people. Um, along the watch, do you believe it's cursed? The um, execution or the person? The person, the case. Okay. Um, all the watchmen who were assigned to escort Mara during his first two execution dates have vanished. Some were loyalists. Um, others have just found to have drowned. Ah, ah, I see. Far from the river. I see. Some just disappeared. <sighs> Never to be heard from again. Hmm. Uh, all the new watchmen have uh, also been told they should just say no to anything involving Mauer. <laughs> kind of, this is kind of spooky. Eh, eh. I'm sure it's fine. After all, we won't have to hang around this town after we uh, succeed. Maybe that's what they were offering us so that we would be dumb enough to take it. It's not dumb so. It's not going to work when you're an idiot. <laughs> I have an idea. Feeling attacked. <coughs> <laughs> now you're attacked. I have an idea. Yep. We wear masks. Like things so they can't see. So that Maurer, if he is if Maurer is actually cursed, right? If we don't say anything, wear masks, he'll never know who we are. If he's actually cursed by the gods, then we'll bozzle the one way or the other. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'd rather have better chances than slimmer chances, right? Okay. I mean, he's not going to see, we're not going to see him. For Ask anyone else in the watch. Pardon? I'm asking Trudy. Yeah, that's what you both yeah. hear. Yeah. Roughly the oh, same kind okay. of thing. I'll, I'll, I'll go ask the... Uh... We should probably talk to the captain. I mean, you can talk to the captain. I'm too afraid. <laughs> I hear. Uh... <laughs> She's a nice girl. I understand that. I just, of, I just walk off. No, no, no. I'm not going to talk to the captain. Because... Yeah. Captain, yeah. I must discuss a matter of great import with you. No, no. I walk away. I go talk to the chef. What's I go on? talk to... The, I go talk... Because I saw you walk into her office and then I about faced and walked away. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to be near her. Like, I am a time bomb for you right now. You know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing, but I saw you go into the yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know what you just walk up the up, office. You just walk up to the cabin and you're like, Einrich didn't take your pistol <laughs> and he just leave. I don't but know he that doesn't that. even know that. I don't know that, but I don't want to know. All I know but he is doesn't know someone took the pistol. I know yes. I know that, that the office was unlocked and you walked in. And I walked out. And, and you walked, walked out. I don't know that. All I know is that yeah, you walked in. Because as soon as you walked in, he left. I'm yeah. gone. Because because I don't want it to be. All right. I so don't you're want not to coming to the captain's office. If anybody because asks are, me later, did I make steal something? I can say no. Because I didn't see that. And it'll be true. So you're heading to the captain's office. Yes, yes I'm, he I'm heading. Let them swallow. I'm going to go to the captain's office. Yes, yeah. captain's office. No. Nope. I go to talk to the dwarf. Uh, yeah, you come and knock. Yeah. Come in. So, Captain, we have a thing to discuss with you. Watchman. <laughs> I salute. Almost like she can't remember your name. <laughs> I, just, I just flex. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Magnus, beef slap over Hazu. <laughs> so, Captain, we have been asked by a member of the Rogue Wardens specifically a rogue sergeant, to escort a prisoner from 
prison to the execution block in two days' time. Mm -hmm. The prisoner is Mao. And herein lies our problem. Everyone seems to think that this, they are cursed. There's a sort of superstition going around regarding Mao. Okay, <laughs> and then I flex. <laughs> You don't need Captain, to any records I've got guns. of the prisoner? Um, she goes and starts looking through some records. If only she had them. They were in a pile on her desk. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh god, that would be like the ultimate <laughs> kick in the balls. Uh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Uh, <laughs> I just hear me in the background like, uh, thanks. Yeah. He was uh, um, accused, tried, and convicted of multiple counts of murder, uh, including the killing of two watchmen, three river wardens, two road wardens. Oh, well then. I see. Um, it's like. It's that's like, a slight contradiction to what we're told by his fiance. Yeah. Indeed. More people than. Uh, than his, I'm not here. I'm First of all, not only is the number greater, but she said that they were unknown men. Whereas these are clearly identifiable men. He was by uh, anyone with plain sight. He was. Uh, I start making uh, cookies <laughs> as a stress reliever. I bake cookies. I bake cookies as a stress relief. Yeah, the former Wolf Sergeant uh, Nora Sandena, um was in charge of the case. She left uh, not long after our second attempt at execution before the purges. So, it's all before my time. Um, however, um, yeah. Captain, we'll say a lot may we have your permission to transcribe a copy of this record? Yeah. No. To go because I know none of you can read or write. Um, can we you all signed X's here next year. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, that, that X is unidentifiable. However, however, <laughs> uh, Captain, may we have permission because we still have two days, and well, we understand that we have other duties in in the city. Permission to to go speak with the. Arresting officer of the from the watch. Okay. Uh, you could sure. Ask, you could ask to speak now. To who? To Lupengau or whoever. Lupengau. Lupengau. Lenora Sendena. Oh, Sendena. Okay. She's Sounds not a member of the watch anymore. What is she a member of? I don't know. Does she live like, in this town? I don't know. We'll have to check with our lawyer. <laughs> and what would your lawyer know? No. So. Hmm. Can you ask to speak with Mauer? Get permission to visit the uh, prison? May we speak to the prisoner Mauer? Uh... I don't know. I can't grant you that. Who can? Um... In a case like this... The town council? May we have the Imperial Herald? I'm sorry, did you say the Imperial Herald? Yeah. Lady Knot? Yeah. Very well, Captain. I think we are done here. But good luck. Although I do have a question. These attempted executions, what went wrong with them? Um, I don't know. It was before my time. I was not here. It was before the purges. I'm just saying, was there no reason listed as to why they failed? No. Is there anybody all currently here that would have knowledge <laughs> of that, those particular executions? Or has everybody been purged? Rudy? <laughs> the bastard. Yeah, I just well, quietly well. walk out. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Were you dismissed? Um, I come back, salute. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? Every time you 
asked that, I feel like I've missed some super obvious uh, questions. Not, no, not that's Captain. No, I know, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, Captain, I believe that is all for today. Uh, well... Um... Seeing as uh, Altdorf soldiers are to escort the Mason to his execution, not the watch, you'll have to find your employer and uh, turn him down. Roy Toe. <laughs> oh man. So a couple of thoughts. Um, I'm starting to think that... Sorry, we just missed now, Captain. Sure. Thank you for your time. Oh, I'd already left at this point. <laughs> I'd quickly turn around and go after him. I'm in the kitchen making cookies. There's no way that soldiers would take an executioner from a watch prison. It's not a watch prison. No, no, he's, watch in the, he's in the... The Imperial Prison oh, is in here. Yeah. That's why you can't get in, because the Imperial Herald has to let you in. Yeah. I think we should go speak to the And the Altdorf Herald. Army garrisons the prison. The Altdorf Army garrisons the city. Yeah. Yeah, I so feel like let's, let's Remember, go. this is a, like... I feel like she's trying to fuck up the execution now. Who the uh, I feel our like lawyer? I feel like our employer is trying to mess up the execution. Now. Well, considering that uh, trying to keep up with her has led us to a bunch of dead ends almost immediately right out the gate, there's obviously something going on with that. I'm I'm getting the impression that she, she also she wants that, to. She also mentioned that no one knows the path, right? Yeah, that's what she Except said. Except her. That's what she said. If this is if this is true, and if she's like the overseeing warden because. Clearly there was wardens that were killed. So this may be entirely out of uh, the Altdorf soldiers uh, purview of justice. This may now have become uh, a warden thing because they are protectors of the province rather than of the city. Because you have to remember, if, if you look at the if you look at our hierarchy, it's City security guards, which we are. Yeah. Okay. City mall cops. Mall cops. <laughs> mall cops. Yeah, city mall cops. cops. Yeah. Then there's the uh, law enforcement, which is the soldiers, but they deter mostly everything to us to keep, you know, yeah, the thing around. Right. Right. And then to them, they would report to uh, their branch, which would probably include uh, Lady Noct, also the current Duke. But then there's a separate okay. branch. There's no Young Duke. Freud was uh, deposed. Okay. Young Freud would have been the current Duke, Had except the Emperor seized the city. Okay. And we know for a fact that the wardens are in fact controlled by the Emperor. Well, yeah, they're they're federal. Yeah. They're federal. Yeah. So Malkops, they're, 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 they're not, not just being controlled. Yeah. Like, the Emperor doesn't sure. have oversight. He doesn't pay attention to their day to day. To him, but they answer. So I think we well, are more inclined sure. to... <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. I think we're more inclined to probably trust someone who doesn't want one or two of those other areas um, involved. I find it suspicious that... So here's the thing that, that I'm starting to think. I find it suspicious that no one has heard of her before. Well, here's the question. I, she could easily just be some person. Who? Ilsa. We'll see. Well, people had. Lots yeah. of people had. They yes. told you about her. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. You're right. But well, the woman, well, the fiance hasn't. Yeah, but my, my point is, is that nobody's... So, I'm starting to suspect that this is just some woman taking that person's name. Because, like, I... I no, they have described her pretty well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Never mind. They knew who you were talking about. Okay. Road wardens travel a lot. Okay. All right. Never okay. mind. So, I... If people, if she has a reputation of being law enforcement and a good law enforcement officer, and this is our she way to the watch. Pardon? She also hates Rudy. Who doesn't Rudy? hate Rudy? Right, but she hates Rudy. No, you, you hate Rudy. Rudy. No, I hate Rudy. Yeah, no, he hates Rudy as well. He hates a lot of people. Anyway, we, he, she hates Rudy, and we're Rudy's proteges. If we f fuck up, 
it's also egg on Rudy's face, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah, I don't see how that's disadvantageous to us. It yeah. is, but my, my point is, is that, like, if she's trying to mess up the execution, and... She we, could be using us to politically she, humiliate Rudy. Yeah, that's my point. We could Which is it. incredibly petty, given that uh, she's, like, three stations above him easily. Yeah, but if she hates him, she hates him. Maybe he I hates mean, him. Even, even, even if he's humiliated, that doesn't necessarily mean that we will be, because she could theoretically pull us out. But the point is, is, I don't see why she would go out of her way to professionally humiliate a man using a cursed prisoner. Well, That's maybe he's not cursed. Question. Maybe she just keeps. She keeps. Either way, we've already made the situation. obligation to uh, do this. This is basically us trying to understand more. So I think we should move to. Like I have, I don't think I have any more questions for other people unless you guys do. No, I mean we could. Maybe we should. Considering Rudy's the only one who survived the purge, who's currently on staff, we could try to probably him. aggressively question him oh, to me. find out what he knows. Well, he gave us an order not to do it. <clears throat> yeah, that's unfortunate. We just kind of went over his head. And you do know that if Rudy does go missing or anything like that, then your state of execution is immediately. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're immediately killed. You're meant to be hung. Yeah. yeah. We, we're in. We're in a no-win scenario for us. So how's that different from normal? <laughs> the difference is we have a potential way to get out. Do like you have one another one. name? Pardon? You do have one other name. Yes, we have uh, Lady Knocked. No. Elsa Fax. What do you mean, other name? Did we have the name of the Herald? That is uh, the Imperial Herald. Herald is not okay. Right. Yeah. But uh, the Norse? Oh. The sorry, the one guard that was still that okay. was the one in control of the huh? You mean one no, 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 the, the, the so, Lenora. The arresting officer who yeah. since left who's disappeared. Yes. We can try okay. to track. Yeah, yeah, let's try and track her down. And that so, I guess. Gossip we could ask Rudy really about her. Yeah, you can make gossip tests. Rudy really won't tell you shit. Um, yeah, he's told you not to see this. Yeah, but we're just asking. Twenty two. What did Gracie say? This is Rudy really ever been helpful? <laughs> I can hope, okay? I can hope. Here, minus 20 on this. We're at minus 20. I have I zero succeed. successes, though. I have two, de I have de two degrees of success. Um, fine. You got two she degrees is. of success on a minus 20. I got 20. five on an 18. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she hangs around in the Red Moon Inn. Sweet. To the Red Moon Inn. Oh, all the dogs. Let's head to the Red Moon Inn. I love you, Dice. Never leave me. <laughs> Thank you, Dice. Wow, I'm checking that one. 86. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. She's a burst wire woman, silvery hair, held fast with tight cords. No, I'll save it for later. Pants? <laughs> <laughs> that's in cords. Oh, that's in cords? No. Yeah, yeah. Lengths of hair. String. Water. String. String. Yeah. So, let's talk to her. I think yeah. that was the general idea. Hello. What can I do for you, then? Do you have somewhere in which you can discuss something? Yeah, we won't talk about right here, right now. Yeah, we won't. Or I'll carry on my way. Yeah, we won't talk about... This is about tomorrow. We have been assigned to... Mauer. Mauer. Mauer case. Yeah. Cases like that just don't die. Uh, do yourself a favor. Walk away. <laughs> don't die. I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> uh, nothing good will come of this. <laughs> you know the men that accuse Mauer of his crimes are all dead save one? Oh. Really? Some butcher named uh, Narb Ditwin. Heard his shop burned down recently. Pity he didn't suffer the same fate. What is his name? Sorry? Narb Ditwin. Ditwin. He, so he was the only witness that, like, came forward. Yeah. The only surviving witness. Well, how did all these other... I mean... Didn't, didn't a bunch of the watchmen... How did they turn up dead? Yeah. How did... All I'm gonna say is this. There are some things in this world, if you learn them, you'll wish for returns. For my part, I think Mar is innocent. But it doesn't matter. They want him. That's one question. Who's they? Why do you think he is innocent? Some things didn't add up. All the, all the, uh, all the witnesses, that accused him, as I said, have turned up dead, save one. 
who just recently got a shock burnt down. Yeah. And it's not as if Maurer could himself have carried these attacks out from prison. You know where this knob lives? Yeah, uh, make me a, uh, intelligent check. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you did screw the dice. Uh, 96, yeah, nice. I will, uh, I will use a point of fortune. I will attack. And re-roll that. I still fail. <laughs> Mr. Dickman! You met Mr. Dickman? I have. Well, you have. Did I? I thought the name sounded very familiar. Yeah. But I didn't say anything because I could not remember where I'd seen the card. Oh, he's written down over here. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Just Did you make him roll dice for him to check his notebook? <laughs> I didn't remember the door otherwise. But yes. Oh! Yeah! He was it. He was the guy. A plus trolling. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had notes and I failed yep. to use them. So, you remember that tenement building that burned down? Yeah. Yeah, he Did was the guy. The he was, the, he was the owner of the ground floor butcher that a bunch of masked men broke in and burned his shop. I and mean, we thought it was like radical vegans. But like. Radical vegans. Anyway, radical vegans. Um, but yeah, like, he, was the, he was the guy. We, uh, we knew where he lived. I guess we just need to head back to that tenement. And, uh, yeah, he's yeah. totally going to be dead. Um, like, the uh, moment we get there, he's going to be dead. Off. Huh? Off? Off. Off? She's off. She's oh. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> Bully. I'm surprised you didn't try to, like, bully her. Intimidate her. Not your style. Lover, not a fighter. Lover, not a fighter. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's head back to, uh... The tenement? The tenement building. It doesn't exist. Well, let's it head back to... It down. Yeah, but surely it's, it's, there's land there. I mean, he, you know, he's gonna try and... Somebody will rebuild something there. Well, he's got to be living somewhere in the town, so let's... Yeah, let's let's walk up Gossip. and like... Seven. Success. I will fix. By three degrees. I failed. Uh, I have Would you happen to know where we keep a small shrine under... Mr. Twitty? Bridges on the, uh, under the bridge on the north side. Oh, wasn't... A small shrine. Wasn't somebody gonna, like, teach somebody to read? Yeah. Small shrine type of work. Mm. Ah, yes. Ulrich, the other Imperial God. Alright, so let's go the other let's This is too many yeah. too many threads are getting pulled together now. I'm I'm, I'm getting suspicious. <laughs> I mean, but that's the point of like we've actually done more investigating. Too now. many threads are being pulled together. Then we have the then we had the entire campaign of two. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like this feeling of everything coming together. It's unnatural to me. <laughs> this Phoenix Wright thing sucks. There's no one there. Oh, uh, what a surprise. It's well, a shrine. Yeah. yeah. Well, we went around. He doesn't live there. there. No, no, no. We asked, are there any other people walking by? He or gave something? a servant earlier. Ah, does anybody know where he lives? No. Do we know where the next servant is? Um, tomorrow afternoon. That's okay, we still are in time. Yeah. Well, with all your gossip tests and your wandering around and asking questions and everything like that. That's after the execution tomorrow. Shit. Okay. Gossip tests and asking people on the street. Making inquiries takes time. Alright, so get your get your hunting dog. Have him smell the pulpit. And then follow that scent back to his house. Okay. Okay. You do that. It leads you to the uh, watch barracks up to one of the beds. Okay, now this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you take the dog away, you've got the wrong scent. Oh, <laughs> balls! I get it, because the other guys were learning to read and they went there to spend time with him. We should ask one of them where he is. Hmm. Well, yeah. at least we got back on the trail. <laughs> They're a so, I mean, then oh. we should probably go to... We should probably actually now rest in. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Before we do anything, I want to quickly stop off at a merchant shop in town. For this time of night? Okay. Okay. Well, no, like, at some point during the day. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you've, you've been, you have a spare. Yeah, you're I wanted to pick up three points. Oh. Yeah. It's getting a, getting a 
looking a little weird over there. <laughs> sure, I don't you know pick up three hoods. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're into, but like, you need. I need one extra wide for. <laughs> I'm not to yeah. con- contain the muscles. This is for us to wear, so if something does happen, they don't know our identity. My good friend, I am not kink shaming you. However, so, <laughs> I must admit, I am slightly perplexed. <laughs> Gustav is so into this. I try to hit on the the morning of the execution. <laughs> Do you still uh, have that, do you still have that, that, uh, contract? It's bitterly cold. Oh, this is unusual. And Uber's Reich is filled with thick fog. Oh my god, thank you! Thank you, I didn't take that fear of fog thing. More steam <laughs> rises full and fat, far larger than normal. It's the green moon, I assume. Shines overhead with sickly green light that does not illuminate does little to illuminate the heavy mist, but lends an eerie green glow that makes shadows move in inexplicable ways. Oh yeah, there's no way this execution has been cursed. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> there's... This is this is the most legit execution the pause, state has pause, ever carried pause. out. Are we backing out of this? No. You uh, I've been ordered to not to do this. Uh, we meet Elsie at uh, the watch station. We gave our word, Gustav. Oh, um, I've been ordered not to do this, though. We are balls deep in this now. We have got, we've got so to go all the way. You and Elsie takes you to a watch station. Can uh, we sign the contract? Uh, before we continue on, please... Uh, so did you pay for it? Thank you. <laughs> I have to read it thoroughly. Uh-huh. Do, what's it say? We don't know. <laughs> um... I don't. Our barrister could have written down whatever she wanted. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, go to the watch station and some Altdorf soldiers um, are a pair of soldiers are there in Altdorf delivery. They look very afraid. Hold on, hold However, on. They're happy to see reinforcements. Hold on, hold on. This happened once before. Let me check the backs. No, they're, they're all dwarf soldiers. Yeah, I just want to look at the backs. See if there's little stab wounds in them. No. Okay. Uh, so I. Okay, I am. I am going to put my mask on. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, he's got a hood on, so he can't see who you are. It's not him I'm worried about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all the other people. Exactly. I'm okay. just gonna put it out there. Uh, While well, we are away from the prying ears of witch hunters, there are demons involved. Having a mask isn't going to matter in the end. I'm aware. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you, you had... <laughs> what? Nothing! What? I got nothing to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing magic, bro. <laughs> nothing magic, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll slap on that hood. Sure. Put on the hood. No fears. My Miss over will help you. I want you to flex your face just to creep the edges. Sure. Flex your face. Oh, my face isn't huge. I got a tiny head. It's just so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. So he's like that. He's like I've got that. my mask on under like my witch, like my witch hat. <laughs> um, so yes, you head off. Are there like witnesses? Like other? Is this no. Like, so who is the unknown person? So it's the three of us. Everyone staying at home because of the moon and the mist. Huh. There's the three of you. Um, whoever else from the watch is with you, you like your group. Okay. Yeah. Um, are we like close to the prisoner? So. Okay. Boy, Mawa, did you murder them fools? Uh. So, um... No speaking to that prisoner! <laughs> what the fuck you didn't tell him? <laughs> um... So... <laughs> he just uh, likes to give me orders. <laughs> well, Ilse <laughs> turns to him and says, um, um... No accidents this time to Moore's portal with you. And uh, the stonemason returns softly that that is for Sigmar to decide. How it be? Uh, can you, as you set off, can you make perception tests? Uh, plus 40. 
Dice don't fail me now. Dice failed me. Let's see. Fortune. 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 I'm and when he's use fortune for this combat. Plus four. Okay, so 39 Wait, to 31. 40? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I've got three degrees of success. I have. And a simple. I have seven degrees of success. Wait. Okay. No, I failed by one then. Uh, your <laughs> footsteps are making no sound. Oh, that's incredibly ominous. And as and you reach, as you reach the, the, the docks along the banks of the twofold, wait, there's a, there, we're, we're going outside the lot, the precinct to hang this guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why the road ward is involved. I yeah, see. got it. Okay. Um, the fog partially clears away, giving you a clear view of the river and the bridge. I feel like it would be quicker if we just. Running flows of twofold have changed. It runs thick, more black sludge than water. Viscous and soundless. You see dead fish swimming in the depths, their eye sockets filled with blue and pink fire. Their <laughs> bones are illuminated. Yeah, this is. Hmm. This is <laughs> ominous. I think we just Hanging got ourselves a bridge. Guy. <laughs> the decaying corpses of loyalist Jungfried supporters struggle against their nooses, clawing at their throats with their bony hands, reaching rotten fingers out towards a party for. Uh, as the party, as you pass the bridge, I'm starting to realize why everyone stays cold on the green. A pseudopod of water rises oh. from the river yep. and snares a lone fisherman off the dock. Well, I should have stayed home. Pulling them into the flow to be torn to pieces by a skeletal flesh. I'm just, uh, wow, okay. I'm, I'm just, just calling out to the, I'm calling out the soldiers, I'm like, excuse me, what manner of devil fuckery is this? <laughs> Please make <laughs> cool tests. Oh, cool tests, can I fail and run? <laughs> oh, just succeed barely. Uh, failure. <laughs> succeeded exactly. Yeah. Failure. Failure. Uh, my question still stands. <laughs> I. So. I am not happy with you this. You have vacated your bowels. As a peasant, this is like, what the hell are you it's stupid just, people just, doing out here? You should like, be inside! You're just like, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? What That was the worst right. sound I've ever made. <laughs> Minus one success level to all tests. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. I am unnerved. Jeez. And as you get to the other side of the bridge, a sonorous voice echoes out of the fog, seemingly from every direction at once. You belong with us, Brother Holger. By Sigma's beard, what is this? For that, <laughs> Elsie, pale and determined, yells, Come on, and starts to run, drawing her pistol with one hand. And then we'll leave it there. Oof. Alright, so thank you everyone for watching tonight. Uh, we'll be back next week as clearly we're going to be destroyed for some reason. But if we win, we win. If not, we'll just make it characters. Alright, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Devil <laughs> fuckery! <laughs> You've been watching us at the Harry Trent Show. Like you can like find us online <laughs> at harryt.com or come visit the store at 3456 Young Street here in Toronto. Uh, until next week, have great games and goodbye.